Welcome to the third video. So it's week one, video three of three. This video in particular is going to look at the varied fluency aspect of the arithmetic test. Now, without actually looking at the questions, it's a little bit difficult to explain, but our normal representation of addition and subtraction would be A plus B equals C or one plus two equals three. So very straightforward representation or 47 take away three equals two. But with varied representation, what we have is possibly three add blank equals 147. And the pupil needs to work out what the blank is. So that can throw pupils a little bit, especially when they haven't seen it before. So this video is going to guide you through some examples from previous SATS papers where these questions are presented in different ways. We're going to look at what the equal sign actually means and really think about some of the lessons from subtraction, especially on how that can help us find the difference as well. So it's a really effective video. These types of varied fluency questions come up um, um, along the SATS journey. So you'll see them in multiplication, in division, in fractions, etc., and so on. So it's really useful to see these varied fluency questions. And in some papers previously, I've seen as many as 10 or 12 examples of this within the paper. So it's really important that pupils see these examples and have a good idea of how to solve them. Now, these these are so common, by the way. In, I looked at, I've looked at five or six SATS papers today when I was prepping this video, and I think it was the 2019 paper where the first eight or so questions are all presented like this, and children had never really seen them before in SATS, and it threw lots and lots of children. And it is just basically addition and subtraction with the various elements, whether it's the minuend, the subtrahend, um, the addend, missing. And it's about you demonstrating your understanding of addition and subtraction. But I'm going to talk you through some of the examples. So again, important to note that this box here is the answer box. The usual position for it here is not there. So all this space is to work in. This is where you write your answer. Okay. Now, the reason why the... the the equal symbol is there is because, again, if we think about what I said a, a few moments ago about what the equal symbol means is, the equal symbol means balance. So what it means is that this and this is equal to this. So we need to make 302 on this side because we've got 302 on this side. Okay, It's given us the sum already. So we don't need to, to find the sum we need to find the additional addend, okay? So if we have the sum already, we can't add because we already, if we add, we get a bigger number. And what most pupils would do is do, well, not most, but people would do 302, add 10, <laughs> because it just pops into their head and they get 312. But 312 would be the wrong answer because we know the sum is already 302. So what we have to do if we need to find a smaller number, we have to find one of, we have to find this, which is this and this, which is a smaller number than the, the sum, then we need to subtract, okay? So that the calculation is actually 302 take away 10. Now, hopefully you can do that in your head, but if you couldn't do that in your head, it's a quick calculation. So it's not going to take us long. Very quickly, draw the line, Lay it out because your presentation is so good. 302, take away, take away 10. 2 take away 0 is 2. Can't do the next one, so we're going to exchange. 10 take away 1 is 9, and the 2 is just going to drop down. So the answer is 292, which must be written in here. So 10 add 292 is 302, okay? So it's really important to spot the fact that we already have the sum. The sum is already here, so we need to find a smaller number. So we're going to subtract this number, this addend, from the sum, all right? Here's another example. We have a subtraction. And again, understand what the equal sign is or means. It means that these numbers are equal to this number, okay? So that's what we're looking to achieve. So I'll just get rid of those. 
So if we already know that we essentially in the subtraction have the minuend and the subtrahend, then we know that we're trying to find the difference. Okay, this has to be the difference. What we what some of you would just say the answer, but we're doing so essentially we need to do a subtraction. Okay. We know we need to do subtraction because we just need to find the difference which is visible here. All right. So I'll just quickly rub that out. And then we just go straight into it. Confidence. Very, very simple. So we're going to do 9,171. Take away 530. And then we get into it. One take away zero is one. Seven take away three is four. One take away five, we can't do it. So we're going to exchange. That becomes eight. Carry the one or exchange the, the thousand into the hundreds column. 11 take away five is six. And then eight is just going to drop down because there's nothing to subtract from it. So we have 8,641. And we must write that into this box. And then we would get the mark. Okay. So again, well done. Again, exactly the same. These are nothing to worry about but lots of children or will lose marks on these because they're just not familiar with them so again have a go have a go along with me 357 take away 89 so again seven take away nine that's not going at work we haven't done have enough to take away so that's going to become four carry the one 17 take away nine is eight Four take away fats eight isn't going to work either, so I'm going to need to exchange. So that becomes a two. 14 take away eight is six, and two is just going to drop down. So I've got 268. So I'm going to write that in, 268, job done. Okay, few exchanges, so we need to be clear on the presentation, but not being worried about the way this is showing it. Again, it's understand that the equal sign just means balance. This is the same as this. So 357 take away 89 is 286, and we've written 286 here. Again, slightly different, but this one's essentially even easier. It's saying 600, sorry, 6,138, add this, is equal to that. It's just presenting the question in a different way. You might normally have the equal sign here and the sum here, but the sum is here in this instance. So it's just that varied fluency. Again, let's go, let's time it straight into it knowing that we can complete these questions really confidently and really quickly. So you've got 6,138. This is an add, four, five, six. So our eight add six is 14. We're gonna carry the one. Three add five is eight, add the one is nine. One add four is five, and the six is going to drop down. 6,594. Correct. And again, draw your attention. This is the second question on the paper. I could see this question throwing lots of pupils early doors who are not quite sure how to do or how to lay it out. Okay. It's just an addition or a subtraction. Okay. And again, if we went straight into it, this is a straightforward addition. Have a go yourself. Pause the video. I'll quickly run into this one. So again, 8005, so 8005, add 408. 5 add 8 is, uh, is 13, so we're going to carry the 1. 0 add 0, add 1 is 1. So we'll write that in, 0 add 4 is 4, and the 8, so fairly simple. And again, this one essentially, it's the fourth question on the paper, 8005 add 408. Really, you could just add, if you partitioned 408, we know we've got 400 here, and we've got eight. In our heads, we could have just gone, right, well, that must be 8,405, and then just added the eight on to get the answer of 413. So we could have done that one in our head as well. These early questions, potentially, there's a lot of opportunities to just do that maths in your head. But at the same time, also, doing the written calculation here is also very quick if we just get stuck into it straight away. And this one, final question, 
with an, the first question on the paper. You could do a column addition for this, but essentially what this is saying is what is 6,090? Well, it's 6,090. Again, what will happen here is children will miswrite this in as six as something like that, or 6,009, and they will get the answer wrong. Okay, So if you want to guarantee that you get the right answer, nearly all of you will be able to do this, but if we quickly draw our ruler line, which I'm not suggesting everybody does, but sometimes we might just want to get the mark, move on, and, and, and build that confidence going into the rest of the test. So very, very simple, 6,000, add 90, go ahead and do it. That's zero, that's nine, that's zero, that's six. And again, it just maybe helps someone just ensure that they've got six, zero, nine, zero. If there's just, I know what it's like going into a SATs, nervous, unsure what to expect. So let's just make sure that in the first instance, we just get the answer get the mark and we move on. Well, very fluency. It's a little bit different as I, as I sort of said before, but it is one of the most important things that are going to dictate the success of children within the first 10 to 15 questions within the arithmetic paper. Some papers in particular, I've seen lots of examples within the test. So being able to manipulate these questions and access them and have experience with them is extremely important. So that varied fluency style will crop up again and again and again. And children understanding things like the plus, or sorry, the equal symbol and what subtraction actually means is going to enable them to access those questions much more simply and confidently. Now, moving forwards, obviously, this is week one of a whole series of videos. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to give some shout outs. So in the comments section, let me know which school you've been watching from. Parents, give us a shout out. I won't necessarily want to name children um, in the videos, but I'm more than happy to shout out teachers, schools, parents, whoever it may be, just to build a bit of atmosphere within the sessions. So shout outs, definitely welcome. Then make sure that you subscribe to the videos on the YouTube channel so that you get notifications when they come out. They should be hovering somewhere around where you can click to subscribe to the channel. But thanks for getting involved in week one. I hope you found it useful in these smaller chunks and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in week two.